Hey guys welcome back. In this video, I am going to share with you. My experience to build this special 5.1 amplifier. Yes guys this one is very very special amplifier, to compare another 5.1 amplifiers. Before that I want to tell you something. This video is not be a shared any schematic related on this amplifier. But of course I will submit this amplifier schematics to you, in the coming days. Okay I mentioned this amplifier is special. Yes guys this one is very very special. Because this amplifier is not a normal assembled amplifier. Because this amplifier is full and full all own made. That means including all drivers modules also own made. Yes guys this amplifier subwoofer driver, surround channel driver, 5.1 Prologic decoder, and sound signature driver, everything is own made. I think you will little bit confused about sound signature driver. Yes that one is special one for this amplifier, I will explain what about sound signature driver lately. Let's see inside setup this amplifier. Here you can see guys all drivers is own made. Let's talk about each driver's details. This 5.1 amplifier I am used this transformer. This one is 3037 amps transformers. And it's have another outputs, like 12012 and 18018. 3030 power supply is used for subwoofer driver. 18.0 used for surround channel driver, and another 0.18 used for a programmed cooling fan. And 12.0.12 .12 power supply is used for a 5.1 decoder driver and sound signature driver. And this is the power supply section. There is no big difference in this. And this subwoofer driver I am used for power transistor. And this is 200 watts driver. I already published complete making this 200 watts subwoofer driver tutorial video in my channel. Video link in this video description available. This subwoofer driver is based on a 4 power transistor. 2 SC5200 transistor and TTA1943 transistor. This subwoofer driver easily handle to 12 inch subwoofers, and this driver is perfectly suitable for JBL1500 model 12 inch subwoofer. And this time I placed all components and soldered bottom of the zero PCB board. And I use this 6 leaf heatsink. This heatsink is perfectly matched this subwoofer driver. And this is the surround channel driver. This surround channel driver is based on TDA 2050 IC. I am used 5 TDA 2050 IC for a 5 separate channels. Yes guys TDA 2050 is deliver typically 50 watts music power into 4 ohm loads. And this DC fan I mounted top of the heat sink plate. Because I used amplifier cabinet have a one exhaust fan hole, then I decided to use this method. And this the 5.1 decoder board or 5.1 Prologic board. Commonly 5.1 amplifiers must be have a Prologic decoder board. But our 5.1 amplifier also have a Prologic decoder board. But this one is own made Prologic decoder board. This Prologic decoder module have a subwoofer pre-filter, surround channel controller, and center voice controller. But remember guys definitely I share complete tutorial about this 5.1 Prologic decoder board project on upcoming days. And this 5.1 Prologic decoder is running a dual supply. And one more special feature I add this 5.1 Prologic decoder. This 5.1 Prologic decoder have a 3D mode. Based on PT2328 3D sound processing IC. Okay guys now talk about sound signature driver. I already mentioned on starting of the video. Guys this is reason I made this 5.1 amplifier. Okay what is sound signature driver? Guys I recently watched this video on YouTube. That video is mentioned startup sound for JBL speakers. Then I watched the complete video. That's the simple one. Once you turn on the JBL speaker, a small sound will hearing. That one is every time you will off and on your JBL speaker is played a little music then start up. This startup sound not only for JBL speakers. This startup sound is hearing every day in our smartphones like turn off and on. Like this. Then I decided to add any different feature in my assembled amplifiers. Then I make a little soundtrack. That soundtrack is permanently used my all upcoming amplifiers. That's one is you will turn on every time my assembled amplifier, my own soundtrack will played and start up. 
First of all, all assembled amplifiers will make easily everyone. Not a professional. You have a basic knowledge in electronics. You easily assembled any kind of amplifiers. But my way is little bit different. I don't know people are accepted this feature in my assembled amplifiers. But I don't care about that. Okay let's see how I make startup soundtrack. This soundtrack I download in YouTube. This is Cube Digital Cinema Original Intro Video. I will download the intro video and Remove the video. We only need audio. Then I add my channel name last of the video. Finally it's look like this. Creative Genius, Sound Systems, Experience at the Creative Revolution. This soundtrack will played every time you turn on my assembled amplifier. And this is the sound signature or startup sound controller driver. This circuit I spend to make 4 days. But 3 to 4 time I am facing failure. But finally I completed. But this one is highly confidential driver module. This one is identity in my upcoming assembled amplifiers. And one more thing, this sound signature module not only for 5.1 amplifiers. This sound signature driver I will use to all my upcoming assembled amplifiers. Like stereo amplifiers, 2.1 amplifiers, 4.1 amplifiers, 5.1 amplifiers and all kind of amplifiers. Here you can see guys, power indicator I set up this RGB LED. And this one is another feature for this amplifier. Yes guys this RGB LED used to multiple function indication. Like once you turn on this amplifier red and green LED flashing. That means our startup sound signature will playing time. After completing our startup sound signature, green LED will stable. That means our amplifier is ready to use. And starting the video I already mentioned programmed cooling fan. What is programmed cooling fan? That one is another feature for this amplifier. Yes guys this amplifier I used 2 12 volt DC cooling fan. First fans is used for a subwoofer driver, and second fan is used for a surround channel driver. But this both fan is controlled by real time temperature control. Yes guys subwoofer driver and surround channel driver heatsinks I set up LM35 temperature sensor. I will use 2 LM35 temperature sensor, sensors are placed in the both driver heatsinks bottom side. And this temperature sensor is controlled by a tiny 85 microcontroller. This microcontroller is controlling fan speeds like both drivers real time heat. And one more thing, this a tiny 85 microcontroller is controlled by this RGB LED. Sometimes both drivers have a overheat, blue LED will indicate, and full amplifier is shut down. Okay guys this the special thing for this amplifier. I think it's useful information all of you guys. But don't worry guys, I must be shared all drivers complete schematic and complete tutorial videos on upcoming days. But I didn't share sound signature driver details on of you guys. Because it's highly confidential. Okay guys now I am going to close this cabinet. Creative Revolution.